Hello and welcome back to Crafting with Cody. Uh, I'm Cody and we're playing Minecraft. Now it's the start of a new day and uh, it's going to take about 10 minutes or so. So let's hurry up and get this started. Uh, this wasn't here if you saw the last video. It's kind of an apartment complex, a nice little spot. Uh, all the buildings are connected. I haven't put anything in them yet, but they all kind of have this general look. Uh, there's only one staircase going upstairs that connects the top. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's let's go and build some stuff. Now today I'm going to talk about uh, Charlie Sheen having HIV, Big Whoop. I'm going to talk about uh, some thoughts I've been having about the uh, terrorist Paris, the Paris terrorist attacks that happened just about a week ago, and I'm going to talk about some new stuff that I'm thinking about doing. I also built this. This is the Three Bridge Station. Now, what I'm going to build in today's uh, episode is a farm, uh, you know, or, or a wheat field or whatever you want to call it. I already cleared out, uh, already cleared out the land because I figured you don't want to see me, you know, digging up a bunch of dirt and uh, clearing out the field and all that. Cause that's boring and stupid. So let's just do this. Is this son of a bitch? Okay, hold up. Let me get rid of this. Now, let's talk about uh, Charlie Sheen having HIV. First off, who really cares, aside from the several women he had sex with? You know, like, is, does it really affect me in my life or anything that I care about? Is it really that big of a deal to put on television as, like, actual news? No. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter in the slightest, smallest bit of anybody else. Is that something like that I wouldn't even make public knowledge? You know... One, two, three, four, five. It is five across, right? Did I say five across? Um, and of course, you, if you're having sex with uh, Charlie Sheen, you should know. Hey, uh, maybe uh, I shouldn't. I should check, or you know, not bang this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, five. You know, it's like. The, he's actually famous for sex and drugs. One, two, three, four, five. You know, it's like... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sick. Um, there's probably going to be a few jump cuts because I'm going to be doing a lot of coughing and blowing my nose and stuff. <clears throat> but he's known for sex and drugs. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, yes, uh, one, two, three... Is, is it really that important? One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. It's not that important. But yeah, I mean, a guy who's basically made a career off of it. I mean, of course, you know, he's famous for TV shows and all this other stuff, but the majority of it is sex drugs. One, two, three, four, five. So, to all of the women, hookers, porn stars ex-wives and whoever else duh that that's all i really have to say about that duh one two three four five you know it's like i don't know i don't know it's like jumping into a shark tank uh without the tank basically of course something was going to happen to you now let's talk about uh what's the other thing I want to talk about? Yes, the uh the terrorist attack that happened in Paris. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Uh it's a terrible thing that happened and now I feel sorry for everyone who's affected and I wish them the best and I pray for the best. And um we're, and I'm happy that we're actually triple teaming it with uh, France and Russia, right? That we're bombing the shit out of every ISIS stronghold that we can get our face on, we get our hands on. So that's a good thing. One, two, three, four, five. But one thing I've noticed, and one thing that's actually going to upset me, is kind of how they're, um, I don't want to, depicting the mastermind behind the attacks. You know, it really seems like it might be more to it. One, two, three, four, five. 
you know, like every picture that they show of him, he's smiling. He looks like he's in a good mood, having a great day. Are they really? I mean, come on, NSA, FBI, hackers, anonymous. Who? Or oh, that's a whole nother video about them. Um, no one can find a shitty picture of him. One, two, three, four, five. Nobody. Like honestly, I mean. Every time something terrible happens in America that involves somebody, we find the worst possible picture we can. And then, scum up the picture. Show it all dirty and disgusting and, you know, play terrible music and do kind of that fade-in thing that looks really creepy and shit. Why aren't we doing that with his face? Why are we somewhat praising him? Not praising him, but making him seem like there's more to it than him being just an evil son of a bitch who wants to kill a bunch of people. Do you get what I'm saying? One, two. Three, four, five. Now, this is just me, but I'm going to call it now. And I want to apologize because it is really insensitive for what I'm about to say. But in a couple of years, they're going to make a movie out of this. Don't say I'm wrong because they do it everything. Hurricane Katrina, which I went through myself. A couple of movies. A TV show. Maybe even two TV shows. Two, three. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Nine Eleven. A couple of, I think, even two movies at least, and a TV show. One. Um. Um. Pearl Harbor. Very famous one. Uh. Even even though twenty twelve was just uh not a hoax but a miscalculation, even on some people's parts, still made a movie out of it. Uh, all, all the terrible things in the world, all the terrible, tragic, life-ending events in the world, we've made a movie out of it. Okay, this is really loud. I don't know how well it's going to come out on uh, the capture. But that's the truth. Of course, it rains. When doesn't it rain? And I hope and I pray that I'm wrong, but that's that's how it is. That's how it always has been. That a movie has always been, not always, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of events out there where the movie hasn't been made. The most recent movie that came out was uh, the, the 33, right? The 33 miners who were trapped underground for a long period of time. Movie. And I know right now it's like, man, that's really insensitive. That's really fucked up. But it's but it's true, isn't it? So a few years, a movie will be made. I hope, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. But that's the way we are as people. As industry, money-making people. That's how we are. Now, uh, like I said, I hope I'm wrong and I don't want it to happen. Now let's talk about the last thing. What I wanted, what I'm thinking about doing with my channel. I really feel like that's really loud. Uh, let's turn that way down. Okay, now what I'm really thinking about doing with my channel and uh, uncensored development is, uh, you know, SourceFed, right? Of course, we all know SourceFed. SourceFed is, is, has become one of my favorite channels over the past couple months. Before, I didn't know about it, then I decided to check it out. I've been binge watching all of the old episodes and, you know, really getting into it. And I really love the way they do things. I really love the way the channel is put together. I love that they have multiple channels all kind of interconnecting that world that they're in. And you can kind of see it from all angles and it's, it, that's outrageously entertaining. And, you know, it's a smart way to do it. Now, not the interconnecting channels part, but the way how they stay on top of current events. I'm really interested in that. I'm really thinking about doing something like that. But the only problem with that is uh, I'm doing everything from my phone, like uploading videos, uh, getting online, Facebook, um, everything. Like everything internet related is all from my phone right now. So that's why that kind of sucks. I know the sun is not going down. 
about that. I'm not done talking yet. There we go. Sorry. But uh, I do want to stay on top of current events because I do like doing that. And uh, my Minecraft videos are kind of for current events is going on and my quick little thoughts on it. But I feel like I could do more. You know? Like I could do a lot more. It's just uh, since I don't have uh, internet connection or anything reliable that I can stay on top of, I can only work with what I have. And I don't want to make anything that's like strongly consistent. You know, and I don't want people to feel like, not depend, but uh, be ready for videos I put out. And then, you know, something happens and I end up being busy. You know, I don't want to put too much stress on that. So, it's something to think about. And it's something that I'm most likely going to do. Is just, I'm going to do it in the Cody way. And most people know what that is. I don't, but we'll figure it out as we go along. But, okay, I'm going to leave the video here because this is taking quite some time. It's going to take even longer, and I'm going to fill all this up uh, in the next video. Yeah. So, uh, that'll be that. If you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, links is in the description. And let me know what you think. I want to know. So, yeah.